Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Matt and welcome to a new video on my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at old skin prices again and that is because you guys have been submitting a lot of old skins that I needed to take a look at. So I made a video on the history of skin prices before and in that video I requested you guys to send me some skins that I needed to take a look at and you guys submitted a lot of skins so that is why I'm making a part 2 to that video. Before we get into that, I want to introduce you to my new sponsor Traded.gg. On Traded, you can trade all skins for all skins from all games like CSGO, PUBG, H one's that one and dota 2 i personally think they have a very nice inventory on the website and they also carry the lowest trading fee of all sites at the moment so if you're interested in traded.gg there will be a link in the description so let's get into the glock fade which is the first skin we're going to be looking at today and i do want to give a shout out to Liad avidan last nico think about gaming and nicholas for submitting this idea to me in the comments on my last video about this topic so for maybe a part three on this video you can submit a comment down below and maybe you'll get a shout out in part three so the glock fade was added on august 14th in 2013 the skin can be found in the Assault Collection next to the MP9 Bulldozer and the AUG Hot Rod. And as you know, those skins are really expensive for some reason. But we are here for the Glock Fade. And right at this moment, the Glock Fade is worth $333.50. So that is the price for a factory new Glock Fade. Now, if you get the minimal wear Glock Fade, it's worth three times as much, like around $1,000 at this moment. So on the date of the release of the Glock Fade, the skin used to sell for roughly $25. 10 days later, on August the 26th, the skin reached its lowest price it's ever reached. The skin sold for a little bit over $10. However, the lowest price point the minimal wear version of the skin has ever sold at is just over $9. And that skin's worth over $1,000 today. So the next skin on the list is a Statrack AK-47 Fire Serpent in Factory New. So thanks Mike Splat for submitting the Statrack Factory New Fire Serpent to me. There is a little problem with the Fire Serpent though, and that is that on Steam there's not been more than 3 sales overall in his whole lifetime for this skin. So whenever this skin had its first sale on January the 25th in 2013 it got sold for only $400. One week later on February the 1st the skin got sold for nearly $200. Until April 7th this year the skin has not been sold ever again but for some reason on April the 7th the skin got sold for $200 again. Right now the price for the skin on OP skins is $3,000 in cash. Now if you'd calculate that into a skin price it'd roughly be $4,500 for one skin. This is definitely not a skin that a lot of people invested in because it was so expensive to start off with. But I did want to include it in the list because it basically grew from $200 to $4,500 in 4 years. So that was it for the AK Fire Serpent, let's get on to the next skin. So the next skin is actually not really a skin but it's a sticker and I'm pretty sure all of you know that I'm talking about the Titan Holo Katowice from 2014. Or maybe you were thinking about the I Buy Power Holo. Anyway, I want to give August a shout out for the suggestion. So at first on August 13, the skin was being sold for $25. However, 5 Five days later on August the 18th the skin sold for around $22 and that is the cheapest price it has ever been sold for on the steam market at least. So something cool I guess about the price history of this sticker is that the price of the sticker went up a lot on January the 14th when there were rumors going around about Titan disbanding and the reason why Titan was disbanding was all because of Kelly or Kukli and I'm pretty sure that if you play CSGO and you're a little bit up to date you know who Kelly or Kukli is. But if you don't, he got banned for cheating within CSGO and the reason why Titan was disbanding was because he basically ruined Titan's reputation so they couldn't get sponsors anymore and that is why they closed. So that is basically why the team closed and that is why the stickers went up in price by a lot. I do not know exactly how much the sticker price went up whenever the team disbanded but if you do know the price then let me know in the comments down below because I'm curious for myself and I'm pretty sure I'm also speaking for others. So at this moment there is obviously no good price for the skin available but the suggested price by Steam Analyst is $3,280. However, on OP skins, the recent sales have been for $4,000 and there's still listings for $3,500 at the moment. But going from $20 to $4,000 in three years or so is one of the craziest skins or stickers to ever be on the Steam market. So anyways, guys, that was it for today's video, but we're not done yet because I've got a question for some of you guys. So recently, Bitcoin has been in the news a lot because of the insane price increase. Now, I myself am not that interested in Bitcoin however I'm really interested in the altcoins that come with it. So my question to some of you guys is the following. Which three small cryptocurrencies do you think will do the best in 2018? The only cryptocurrencies next to Bitcoin and Ethereum I'm holding are Verge, 
IOTA, and Power Ledger. So of course, the question I just asked is kind of off topic. But because we're talking about skin prices increasing and stuff, I thought I'd bring it up because I know some of you guys are really interested in cryptos. So anyways guys, that was actually it for today's video. Now if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my content, and if you want to be in the notification squad, then of course turn on my notifications. And that was all that I had to say for this video, and I'm out. Peace. One more chance, baby, give me a kiss. You got one more chance at a night like this. You can hold my hand in the back of the whip, a sort of plug at the club. Can't